Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about how to convert radians to degrees and vice versa. Ito ay basic na bagay or topic when we are studying circular functions and trigonometry. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here 8 items sa pag aralan natin wherein we will convert radians to degrees and degrees to radians. Pero before yun, uh, kailangan mo natin i-review that sa isang revolution ng isang angle, that is equal to 360 degrees sa isang partition plane. Now, so ang basic doon, dapat alam natin that the value of 2 pi in radian is equal to 360 degrees. Ito ay isang revolution. And ang pi naman natin, since ang 2 pi natin is 360, your pi is half of 2 pi, therefore, this is 180 degrees. So kailangan yung tandaan niya kasi isa tas mga basic na bagay when it comes to converting radians to degrees. Now, let's move on. In item number 1, sabi dito sa direction natin, convert each degree measure into radians and vice versa. So, yung examples natin, I have here 1, 2, 3, and 4, wherein we are given the degree measures of angles and we will convert this into radian measure. And yung second part naman natin, given yung radian, i-convert natin into degree measures. So, in number 1, we have 30 degrees. So, the question here, sir, what is the process or any steps natin to convert a degree to radian? Given the degree, all you need to do is to multiply the degree by pi over 180 degrees. So, what you will do, given this 30 degrees, simply multiply by pi over 180 degrees. So, ang basic dito guys, so, di ba kapag meron tayong fraction, let's say for example, I have 2 over 3 times 4 over 5. Ang ginagawa natin, we are multiplying the numerators and the denominators. So dito, since 30 degrees and pi over 180 degrees are fractions, fractions and you can convert this into 30 degree over 1, you can multiply 30 degrees times pi and then 1 times 180 degrees. And their product is 30 degrees pi over 180 degrees. So, ang, ang next step mo dito is to simplify this fraction. You have 30 degrees divided by 180 degrees. Pero, to simplify our steps, alamin natin if meron ba silang mga greatest, com kung meron silang greatest common factor. We have here 30 and 180 degrees. So, uh, analyzing the given numbers, yung 30 natin and 180, ang kanilang greatest common factor is equal to 30. So we can simply divide 30 degrees by 30 and it will give you the answer of 1. And you add in 180 degrees divided by 30 degrees, this will give you the answer of 6. So dito, in this case, uh, mababawasan natin yung steps natin para mas maging mabilis yung pag-convert natin. So simplifying this answer, we have 1 times pi, that is pi, over your denominator here, which is 1, 1 times 6, this will give you 6. So as you can see, converting 30 degrees to radian, the equivalent of that is pi over 6. Ganun siya simple. Ang technique lang dito guys, you're given the degree, multiply it by pi over 180 degrees, and then simplify your answer. Now let's move on. We are given here number 2, we have negative 50 degrees. Sir, bakit po negative? Yes, that's possible sa isang circular function and trigonometry. Uh, kapag yung iyong direction ay counterclockwise, makakaproduce ka ng, ng negative angle. So, we have here negative 50 degrees and to convert this into the radian measure, you can multiply this by pi over 180 degrees. And same process na natin, we will think of the greatest common factor between 50 and 
180. So, ang kanilang greatest common factor, not 25, not 50, their GCF is 10. Okay? So, we can simplify this. 50 divided by 10, or negative 50 divided by 10, this will give you negative 5. And as for your denominator, 180 degrees divided by 10, this is 18. So, you can multiply the numerators. We have your invisible one. Negative 5 times pi. This will give you negative 5 pi. And as for your denominator, you can multiply 1 and 18. And that will give you the, pi, the product of 18. And the converted form or the, the radian measure of negative 50 degrees is none other than negative 5 pi over 18. And as you can see, meron tayong number sa ibabaw. Meron tayong 18, pero simplified din guys. Wala na silang greatest common factor aside from 1. Okay? Now let's move on with item number 3. Sir, medyo malaki na po yan. Don't worry. We have 210 degrees. Convert this into radian. Multiply this by pi over 180 degrees. And to simplify this, what is the greatest common factor between 210 and 180 degrees? Uh, their GCF is 30, right? 30. Now, how many 30s do we have in 210? We have 7. As for 180 degrees, we have six thirties here. So to simplify or to multiply your numerators and denominators, you have seven times pi, that is seven pi, over one times six, this will give you the answer of six. And the answer in number three is seven pi over six. Okay, now for number four, we have 300 degrees. So it's possible that we have 300 degrees. So this will serve as your assignment. You can comment down below kung ano yung magiging sagot nyo in converting 300 degrees into radian measure. Okay? Now let's proceed with item number 5. For item number 5 up to item number 8, we are asked to convert these radian measures into degree measures. So grabe natin dito, sir, paano po natin convert ang radian to degree? Given this pi over 18, all we need to do is to multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. So, kung mapapansin nyo, if you're given a degree, again, if you're given a degree, you need to multiply it by pi over 180 degrees para maging radian siya. And if you're given a radian measure to convert this to degree, you need to multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. So what will happen is makakansal natin yung pi and as for 180 degrees over 18, ang kanilang greatest common factor is 18. Tama? So meron tayo itong 18 na isa tapos meron tayong 10, 18 dito. So we have 10 degrees. So simplifying this, yung value na ating pi over 18 is equal to 10 degrees. And this is the answer for item number 5. Now let's go with item number 6. For number 6, we are given 35 pi over 18. So what will happen here, or what you will do, is you will multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. So we can cancel out pi, and as you can see, Yung 89 is 180. Meron silang greatest common factor, which is 10. So we can, uh, which is 18. So we can cancel out 18. Magiging 1 siya. At ito naman, yung ating 180 degrees, it will become 10 degrees. So natito na lang natin dito guys, ay yung 35 times 10 degrees. Ibig sabihin nito guys, the value or the equivalent Degree measure of 35 pi over 18 is equal to 350 
5. Ito na yung missing uh, 2050 release. This is our answer for item number 6. And now let's move on to item number 7. We are given negative 11 pi over 3. So same process. Multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. So what you will, you will do, cancel out mo yung pi and pi sa numerator sa denominator. And kung mapansin mo, we have 3 and 180 sa ating denominator at sa numerator. So alam naman natin na ang kanilang greatest common factor is 3. So we can cancel out 3. And yung 180 natin divided by 3 is equal to 60 degrees. So ang mo rito is to multiply negative 11 by 60 degrees. And this will give you negative 660 degrees. So yung sagot natin dito in degree measure is a negative angle. Now, to apply your knowledge about para malaman nyo yung uh, para ma-apply nyo yung natutunan yung sabihin natin I will allow you to answer number 8 and this will serve as your assignment. So we have now item number 4 and item number 8 where in sa number 4 you will convert this into radian measure. Remember ha? You will multiply this by pi over 180 degrees. At ito naman you will multiply this by 180 degrees over pi, over pi. So if you have any question or suggested topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goyne. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!